I really don't know. Kaya, the largest developing country in China. In China. Fatal. Africa. Cambodia. Railway. China view. Algeria? No. Libya? Uh, I see. Um, so what African country celebrates Spring Festival as a holiday in their country? It's uh, Mauritius. Mauritius? Oh, it's an island? Yeah, yeah. Thousands of years ago, on two different continents, two civilizations were rising. Today, modern China and Africa are home to a third of the world's population. Over the coming days, African leaders, the UN Secretary General, international organization representatives, business people, and of course journalists will converge for the Beijing summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. But what is the summit about? And how will China and Africa head toward an even stronger community of shared future? This is Xinhua Special at the Forum. Xi Jinping has blocked up four visits to the continent since assuming the presidency. And every year, the first visit by a Chinese foreign minister is also to Africa, a tradition that goes back 28 years. The message is clear. China takes Africa very seriously. In fact, it calls Africa a most fundamental partner. China's policy towards Africa has been consistent and visionary. There are three important elements which are working there. That is equality, mutual benefit, and common development. During the president's first visit to Africa in 2013, she outlined the principles of sincerity, real results, affinity, and good faith and the values of friendship, justice, and shared interests that characterize China's work with the continent. Two years later, at the Forum's Johannesburg Summit, he proposed 10 major plans to fortify cooperation in politics, economics, culture, security, and international affairs, and offered Chinese support to Africa for its development bottlenecks, lack of infrastructure, unskilled workforce, and underfunding. With over 3,000 Chinese firms investing in Africa, China has helped the continent build more than 10,000 kilometers of highways and railways and trained 160,000 people. The firms have also built more than 200 schools, nearly 100 hospitals, and treated more than 280 million patients in Africa. Against this backdrop, President Xi's keynote speech is expected to elaborate on what the Sino-African community's shared future will look like and propose a plan of action on how to achieve it. At this summit, cooperation priorities take center stage while the alignment of China's Belt and Road Initiative with Africa's 2063 agenda maintains momentum. China's initiative and Africa's agenda are, at their core, about growth and sustainable development. And strong infrastructure is, of course, fundamental. And Africa now is at the initial stage of industrialization. And China has, uh, uh, has accumulated uh, rich experiences to share China's experiences in opening new industrial parks and in developing rural economies and uh, in reduction poverty so that uh, Africa and China could enjoy uh, jointly fruits of development. The Mombasa to Nairobi Railway, for example, transported nearly 1.35 million passengers in the first year of its operation. With plans to expand this network into South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi, more people and products will be on track to get where they need to go quicker. Cooperation projects are not just iron and steel. There are lights, camera and action too. Chinese media firm Star Times broadcasts across the African continent.
，要达到一点二亿美金。呃，收微信电视，然后去了解各种重要的信息，这对老百姓来说也是个非常好的事情。能走到哪，肯定是这个一定要，中国和非洲之间呢，一定要加强。互相的了解的对方的文化。TV is one way of communicating across the Indian Ocean, but now the spotlight is on the political stage. And we'll be here. See you at the forum. <laughs>